You are watching the Justin TV Invitational, cast by myself, Total Biscuit. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Shoutcraft right here, bringing you the Justin TV Invitational, and I bring you Idra. Idra. You never get it right. <laughs> Whatever. It's all good, folks. The monster, the Gracken himself. He is in the green trunks. He is playing Zerg here on the Zelnaga Caverns versus his opponent. It's Root Minigun in the baby blue trunks. He is playing Protoss. It's loser choosers, folks, in this best of three format. We are currently sitting on double elimination status, so Minigun will not indeed get knocked out if he loses this. He'll go down to the loser's bracket and we'll be able to continue. Mm-hmm. Should be good. Now, he got steamrolled just a little bit, if I'm totally honest, by Idra in the previous match, being taken down by, well, a lot of people call it, hey, it's the seven roach opening. Idra doesn't seem to believe that. Idra thinks it's actually the 15 roach opening. I don't disagree with him, and unfortunately for Minigun, neither did he. Minigun elected to go with a forge straight into a fast expansion, which resulted in him having practically no defense of any description. Idra steamrolled through it with barely a care in the world, and that is going to be extremely problematic. And it looks like Minigun has decided he's not going to do the same thing this time around. Looks to block off that expansion. i got to say, and Idra's play is just so damn incredible. Bear in mind that he was able to drive away the probe of Minigun with some excellent micromanagement and get rid of him before he got his, any Zerglings out. So we actually had that expansion down much quicker than other Zerg players would have, which of course in turn allowed him to spawn way more roaches than any other Zerg player would have had. It was great play there, a great opening, and he goes for it once again. Will Minigun's micromanagement be enough to keep him away from that? I don't know. Look at that. Idra is just so very, very good when it comes to micromanaging that drone, making sure that he can drive his opponents away. Looks like he's not going to bother this time around, though. Not too worried. Down goes the Cybernex core for Minigun, and Idra is going to wait a little bit longer. Get those Zerglings out and eventually drive him away. He's not so concerned about getting the earlier fast expansion this time around. Perhaps not so critical. And I wouldn't necessarily expect that Roach opening again from him. Let's find out exactly what's going on. Drives his way in there. Times it pretty much almost perfectly. Zerglings should be down any moment to get rid of that pesky little probe. But look at that. A nice grab nonetheless as Minigun was caught out of position. Didn't even need the Zerglings. He's going to do the chase anyway. See if he can take him down. That probe might be able to get away. Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. We will find out in the not too distant future. Now, Minigun, I'd imagine, is going to be playing an awful lot more defensively after his previous pounding at the hands of Hydra slide through there and of course making use of the fact that you can pass through units if you happen to have some minerals in your tiny little pincers right there no problem no problem at all scouts out finds nothing of nope double chronobus coming out for the sentry there and the cybernetics got quite a lot of money available for minigun he may go for an expansion pretty early on but there's no way of honestly telling that right now his money's fairly high but you have to ask what exactly he's going to be spending it on. No more gateways coming down. He needs to try and drive that away if he can. Might be looking for robotics. Now, he does have enough for a Nexus right now. The question is, will he choose to expand? If he does, Idra will probably try and punish him once again. Evolution Chamber coming down this time around, though, for Idra. So, no sign of roaches as of yet. Interesting stuff. There we go. One gateway and two gateways. Four gates? We're looking for four gates? Yes, we are. Four gateway strategy coming down right now for Minigun. Minigun is known for this. He executes his four gateway extremely well. He's very good at it. The question is, will Idra be able to handle it? I would imagine so. And an intriguing idea for Idra right here as he goes straight into melee attacks quite early into the game. Level one. And the metabolic boost completes, relying pretty much on Zerglings for the time being. No sign of Banelings yet, but plenty of time to play into that. Piling down the bottom. Minigun can expand if he likes. He does certainly have the money for it, but I'd imagine he's holding that so that he can get a good solid warp in. However, bear in mind, Idra's visibility is very, very good. He's got Zerglings all over the place. Metabolic Boost has completed. He also has Overlords deployed in strategic locations to try and prevent his opponent from doing that. There's the expansion right now for Minigun. 
Heavy sentry play coming out for Minigun. No big surprises there. You do need to do that. If you're going to expand at this stage in the game, you will not have the money to put out anything else. Whereas sentries, very gas heavy and very low in terms of the mineral cost, which is why you put them on the field, folks. People sometimes wonder why that is if they're fairly new to the game. That is why Hydra, Idra pumps out those Zerg. You know, I just could call them Grack. It would just be easier, Greg, Grack. But most of my viewers probably wouldn't even get that. I have a lot of viewers that don't actually watch GSL or anything like that. So probably not best to refer to him by his birth name, Gracken. It's not his birth name. That would be incredibly mean. I'm not that kind of person. I'm a liar. There we go. Lair coming up right here for Hydra. Melee attack upgrade. Almost complete right here. An interesting uh, variation as he goes straight through to Lair. You have to wonder... Oh, Minigun with the cancel right there. Faking that one out. And he feels like he has enough to do the push. However, Idra is well ahead in terms of his scouting information. He knows exactly what's coming in. Baneling Nest on its way. Makes sense considering the melee attack upgrade, which is now completed. And we're going to be relying pretty much on Zerglings right now. Have to wonder just how good the force field placement will be for minigun there's the deployment four gateways on the field creep spread is good for hydra queens are on the field as well got a fair number of them looks for the flanking maneuver takes an initial little bit of damage right there and a great grab around the side right there as he surrounds and takes that one grabs the second it's very good there for hydra the question is will he be able to take it down great sentry placement exceptional sentry placement but it comes in from all angles minigun is rammed rammed into a tight corner right here but his force will not go down to the force of idra as of yet but the amount of damage idra is actually inflicting here is giving minigun a pause for thought and i don't really blame him either and that's going to be dangerous he is playing a game whereby he has to get in there incredibly rapidly, and Idra's reinforcements are arriving. Banelink's morphing through. He does have 12 Zerglings on the field. He's got six more. That's not going to be enough to break that line, although he did significant damage there. Played a little bit of a delaying tactic. The question is, will Idra be able to do the damage he needs to do with those Banelinks? I'm going to find out as he approaches once again. Minigun with the second push in. Looking for the surround. Grab around the side. Great sentry placement. Not good enough. Detonation goes off. Minigun not taking an awful lot of damage there, though. A great placement of the Stalkers around the edge, absorbing most of the damage from the Banelings. Second wave comes in. It's a good detonation in the middle. It's not good enough, though. Hydra, 20 more. Zerglings coming in. That hatchery now under grave threat. A lot of damage on those Stalkers. Could easily get around there. Zealot swapped in and into the middle line of Idra. And GG, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Idra loses that one, and it's one apiece in this best of three series. The four gate of Minigun executed pretty much perfectly as it tends to be. We'll be right back after this, folks. Don't go away. Things are just heating up.